Oh lord, another video on YouTube about underage kids. It's time to call the pedo police. Just kidding, don't do that. You're safe here. Anyway, before you guys go ahead and reach any kind of conclusion, I suggest that you watch the entirety of the video because this is absolutely not what you think it is. It's actually a whole lot worse. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. This story begins on the cesspool of the internet known as Twitch, where you can live stream your video game and other content to uh, viewers. And if you reach enough viewers, you can actually get paid to do so. Because the advertisement revenue on Twitch is absolute dog shit, a lot of live streamers accept donations. Donations are very interesting because people who watch your stream can go ahead and pay money to broadcast a message on the screen even though everybody else who's watching the stream doesn't give a shit and really doesn't want to see it. God, I love America. So. Because I live streamed on Twitch and because I didn't really have the peak amount of viewers where advertisement revenue and subscription revenue it was enough to really allow me to live stream for a living, I accepted donations. I definitely got a fair bit amount of donations. And when you accept donations, you get a lot of donations from regulars, people who just donate to you over and over because, I don't know, I, I really don't know why they do it. I have no idea. But anyway. I ended up uh, accepting donations and got regulars to donate, and one of these people who ended up donating a very large sum of money to me over an extended period of time, her name was Brooke. She went under the name Brookinator, which if you ask me sounds like some 12 year old girl who plays Minecraft. Honestly, I think she actually did play Minecraft. She wasn't 12 though, she was 16, and she ended up giving me a lot of money. But I didn't know she was 16, right? I bet that's what they all say. I didn't know how old she really was. I didn't know how, how old she actually was. She actually had told me that she was 23 years old and that she was really wealthy and had a really wealthy boyfriend. Yes, she actually said that. And that she was traveling the world and she had like a lot of downtime to just browse the internet and donate money to people. So she ended up giving me a lot of money over a couple of months, like $100 every day. Yes, like $100 every day. It ended up being such a large amount of money that it totaled about $10,000 over three to four months, right? She was a regular, she donated every day. When people donate, there's always a chance that they charge back a donation. And if you don't know what that is, that's where somebody will give you money and then they change their mind because they're scumbags, right? So a lot of people will donate money and then they'll have the live streamer do something like sing a song or do a tap dance or whatever. And then because they're complete assholes, they'll go to PayPal and say that their credit card was stolen and that it was actually fraudulent and they'll charge the money back. Well, this usually doesn't happen very often. And when it does happen, you can expect it to happen like the next day, right? So if somebody donates, you can expect them to charge back like the next day or two. But Brooke, the 16 year old girl who I thought was 23, she ended up donating about 9,600, I think the exact total was $9,618 over three months. Everything was fine and dandy, you know. She said she was 23. She would join the team speak, which I didn't go into very often because I was always so tired after live streaming for so long. But she made friends with people and they probably played Minecraft together and all sorts of stuff. But she seemed like an okay person. There weren't really any red flags. And then this is when shit went down. This is when everything just kind of happened. One day, I'm ending my live stream very, very late at night or early in the morning, depending on your perspective. It's like five in the morning. And I check my email. I see just pages and pages of a dispute has been opened on your PayPal account. And I'm just like, what the fuck? It's pages and pages of it. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. So I click it and it's like a case has been opened for a chargeback for $10. I'm like, oh, that's not that bad. You know, this shit happens, right? When you get dozens of donations a day, occasionally you're going to get somebody that charges back because there are assholes in the world. But it was pages and pages. So I'm like, okay, let's click on the next one. And the next one was like $50. 
I'm like, uh, okay, this is not going to be good. So I click on the next one, and it's like $200. And the next one, it's like $100. And I'm like, oh, shit. And so I go to my PayPal account, and I notice that I am missing $10,000 from my PayPal account just overnight, just like that. It's just gone. PayPal balance, $10,000, gone. And I look at my chargebacks, and it's all from the same person. It's all from Brookinator. And I'm like, holy fuck. I don't even know what to do right now. I'm just seriously, like, in shock. I'm in absolute shock. And remember, these donations all happened across a three-month period, right? So it's not like she donated $10,000, and then the next day she took it back. No, this was $100 from three months ago, $100 from three months ago, $150 from three months ago, $200 from two months ago, all the way up until, you know, very recently. And I get a phone call, surprisingly, like 10 minutes later. I get a phone call, and I'm very socially inept, if you can tell from my other videos and stories. I don't get many phone calls, so when I get a phone call, it's pretty important. So I answer it, and it's this redneck woman who sounds incredibly overweight from like Arkansas and she answers the phone and she's like this she says uh, uh hello hello is is this is this a good idea gaming is this good idea gaming and I answer the phone I'm like uh yes and she says yeah, good idea, gaming. I don't know what you are. I don't know if you are a business, but I have alerted the authorities. I have reported you to the police. You are going to be in big trouble. I'm just like, what the fuck? What are you talking about? What do you mean I'm going to be in big trouble? What did I do? Uh, you stole $10,000 from my bank account, and you are going to be in big trouble, sir. I'm just shocked right now. I'm like, listen, lady, I didn't steal money from anyone. I am going through some real shit right now, and I don't know what the fuck is going on, but I am missing $10,000. I didn't steal money from anyone. And she's like, well, yeah, um, I actually called my bank, and they had told me that some business, Good Idea Gaming, had charged me $10,000. So I called my bank, and they gave it back to me, and they said, you are engaging in criminal activities. I'm just fucking shocked right now. I'm thinking to myself, holy fuck, what did I do? Am I going to go to jail for this? Am I going to get in trouble? Are the police going to be here? Like, what is going on right now? And I'm like, listen, lady, I didn't steal money from anyone. I play video games on the internet for a living, right? I play video games and people give me money to support my website. I don't steal money. I didn't engage in any kind of criminal activities. I have no idea what's going on, but I can assure you that I did not steal money from you. And she doesn't believe me at first. She's like, you are a liar. You are a liar. I am calling the authorities. You are in big trouble, sir. And after talking to her for a little bit longer, I finally get her to just calm down a little bit. And I guess she kind of lightens up and realizes that because I'm freaking out on the phone that it's probably not my fault and that something is going on, right? So I end up telling her, I end up talking to her. I'm like, lady... Listen, this money that I got was from somebody named Brooke, and they donated money to support my video game live stream. She didn't know what a live stream was, but she got the picture. And she's like, Brooke? Did you say Brooke? I'm like, yes, Brooke, Brookinator. That was their name that they used online. And then the lady on the phone was like, Oh, that's really weird. I have a daughter named Brooke. And my mind is just like, Jesus fucking Christ. I cannot believe that I am dealing with this shit right now. Unbelievable. And so I immediately have drawn the conclusion. I now know exactly what's happening. Exactly. And this lady, obviously, is now, she's the one that's in shock. And now she doesn't know what the fuck is happening. So I talk to her and I'm like, you have a daughter named Brooke. How old is she? And she's like, oh, my daughter is 16. She doesn't she doesn't know much about computers and the internet. I'm like, that's fucking, that's bullshit. Um, obviously, this lady doesn't know her daughter very well. And she also says, she's like, my daughter's name is Brooke, but they're, they're not connected. There's no way 
that this Brookinator is in any way related to my daughter. I'm like, well, lady, why don't we just go ahead and go through some facts right now? I actually have a little bit of information about this person because she hung out with people on TeamSpeak and, you know, we had her Facebook and stuff like that. And she actually sent people pictures. She said she was 23. That's kind of weird, right? She was actually 16. But, you know, I had like a description of her and everything like that. So um, I'm like, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and describe her to you. And you tell me if this is what your daughter looks like. So I start describing her. I'm like, okay, she has short hair. And the lady's like, mm mm mm, nope, that is not my daughter. My daughter does not have short hair. My daughter has very short hair. I'm like, holy f Jesus Christ. Oh my god. And then I describe more to her. I'm like, well, okay, so she looks like this, she looks like that, you know, whatever. I just keep describing it to her, and she keeps just trying to refuse it. She's like, mm-mm, nope, that is not my daughter at all. My daughter is this, not that. And the things that she's describing are, like, virtually exactly the same things that I'm describing to her. And so, obviously, she's just in complete denial right now that what really happened is her daughter stole her parents bank account information and gave a bunch of money to random people on the internet without their permission right that's what happened and so after all this talking to her on the phone this lady is like excuse me give me just a few minutes here all right i'll be back soon and so i'm like okay sure and so she leaves and you know i'm on hold pretty much there's no one there at the phone time goes by two minutes five minutes probably eight minutes and then all of a sudden she gets back and this is what she said this is these are the exact words that she said okay excuse me please don't ever call this number again thank you very much and then she just hangs up and then that's it and i am just in absolute shock i have no idea what the fuck to do right so i call the number and she doesn't answer i call it again she doesn't answer and so now I know that this lady is obviously not going to answer, and I know that it's actually her fault, and that this whole situation is completely fucked up, and that this 16-year-old little girl gave me 10 grand of her parents' money, and the parents found out three months later, and now they took it back, and now I'm missing $10,000. And I'm just, I don't even know what to do, right? And so I call PayPal, and PayPal pretty much tells me that I'm fucked, and that because the bank account filed the claim against PayPal, PayPal has to pay the bank, and there's nothing that they can do, and there's nothing that I could do. I fought this case for several months, calling PayPal, um, trying to do everything that I could. I even reached out to a lawyer, and they laughed at me. They were like, oh, oh you, you are retarded, sir. Um, when you sign to sign up to PayPal, they pretty much own your soul. And if they take $10,000 out of your account, then you are fucked. So there's nothing that I could really do. And that's pretty much how I lost $10,000 to a 16 year old girl on the internet. It's pretty fucked up. I know. Right. But it's probably not what you're expecting this story to be. So reserve all your pedophile judgments because that's not what it actually was. But anyway, there you go, guys. That's that. If you enjoyed the story, feel free to go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I have plenty of other stories as well. A lot of them are very interesting. A lot of them, a lot of them involve money, which is very surprising. How I made money or how I lost money. Um, and, of course, if you guys show enough support, I'll definitely go ahead and post some more stories soon. So thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for uh, paying attention. And uh, I will see you all very soon. Take care, everybody.